again, interesting team compositions and again, interesting growth from Giants. You're about to see the champions on your screen in a moment. Giants who found all that success at the end of the spring split with heavy aggression. They did the same in week one and then now they're doing these poke comps. Hashtag ROC win, hashtag GIA win. Who do you feel has the advantage? The mostly Polish or the mostly Spanish? You, uh, or continued to be a little uh, risky with his positioning. But speaking of risky, Frederick off a single this buff. happened last week. Yeah, I was going to say, is heading into the top lane. And again, Steve is the one everybody he's is focusing. Down. He's been stunned. He's been counter-striked. Steve will befall the same fate that Freddy fell last week. Steve is going to be able to walk he, away. He's checking, at least. He's doing his due diligence, but he is only level one, so has to check with Q. Flash in the bottom lane, though. So we do see Banda. He's caught Godfrey. The Black Shield is up. He lands the binding onto Yankos. He's trying to get away, but the follow-up resonating strike will secure a kill on the board for Rocket. And it lands in the hands of Woolite. That's what their team does best. Giants, they want to poke. Ooh, they're boxed in, though. The tower has been secured. There's Agony's Embrace on what I think was three. True Shot Barrage flies across, and Steve manages to get the Equalizer down before getting down. Chain of Corruption catches on Vanda, and he gets melted through the Unbreakable Will. And Nuketak, he wants to pick a fight. Emperor's Divide doesn't really connect, but Frederick's in trouble. Woolite looking for a kill. He does get caught by the Piercing Arrow and is now in full retreat. Flash forward onto the Dark Binding. Audrey with the Mystic Shot. But Dez gonna follow up with the Arcane Shift. One more long-range skill shot, and Lozark is out of his chair celebrating. He's looking for, I guess, a BF or uh, a Bloodthirster plus some cooldown reduction coming from this. Should be boots, I assume. Or, what? okay, he's just up to flat damage, and then penetration from it with a Last Whisper. But Steve, speaking of damage, is in trouble. Steve, 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 he's running, gets the Equalizer out. Doesn't even matter. It was too little and too late. And Whirlib just Steve rolls him down. <laughs> oh dear. Well, we do see Godfrey. He's come in, but he's in trouble. Knocked under the tower. Nuketuck is trying to get away, but the Soul Shackles will catch him out. True Shot Barrage goes wide, and Audrey unable to follow up with the Mystic Shot this time. Yankos saves the day to secure the kill. Now, the roam from Godfrey didn't work out too well this time, cost him his life. But what is happening on the other sides of the map? Whirlib on his own in the top lane. Uh, Rocket have two players bottom lane in Woolite. Vanda pushing down a turret, but they lose mid turret in exchange for this. Giants are looking to come up huge from this. Whirlib, I don't think he quite cottoned on to Nuke Duck being there at first. It, it, ooh. You can feel the pain there. Nuke Duck almost takes him out. Chain of Corruption catches Vanda, but he unbreakables those chains. Piercing arrows, Mystic Shot, Essence Flux, everything trying to catch him down. But Audrey does have that red buff, so if he can clip him with the skill shot, does not this time around. Means Vanda should be able to get away. You see Mystic Shot carries on chase. Audrey's got a lot of mana. He gets the Pulverize, and Steve is teleporting in. He's on the board. He gets the double buffs, just the red buff, rather. And that's a Steve double kill. Yankos now finds Godfrey. Trying to catch him out. No Dragon's Rage yet. Wards hop forward. Tempest and Cripple should be up in a couple of seconds. And Yankos is just going to run him down. Actually flashing for that one. As Yankos gets the kill. And Giants all of a sudden give up three. Well, Mirror Mana has been upgraded for Pippa. Uh, okay, that's a teleport. Giants <laughs> are teleporting in for Baron. Yeah. Rocket are going to slow to react. Look, Woolite's in the bottom half of the map. Giants yeah. with a super confident play. The problem here, Stress, is Yankos is around. He does have Smite. He's got caught out by the Chain of Corruption. Baron's been secured, but Giants are low. Steve is looking for more. The Equalizer went in the pit, and he wasn't able to get more. Yankos jumps in, and he manages to land the roundhouse kick to the head of Frederick. But Giants got Baron and peeled away with four alive. Oh, Woolite. Cannot afford to take that kind of poke at this point. Uh, Giants are going to be able to push this down, but every time they make a move like this, Whirlib is getting worked on the other side of the map. You have to be careful of Yankos looking for the engage, though. Wow, he tried the Dragon's Rage kick, but Frederick, he had the Black Shield. He wasn't going anywhere. Nuketak slides all the way forward Ooh. with the Conquering Shifting Sands. We do see Summoner Heal was used to keep him alive, and Vanda is the one that eats the Dark Binding. Pippinero secures the kill as Giants peeled away. And we do see Steve down in the bottom lane trying to push Whirly Bound. He got Chain it. of Corruption catches yeah. Woolite! Catches Woolite! And Woolite is potentially going to cost his team a Baron. Giants immediately turn away, and Whirly's making his way up there as well. 
at this point, though, the Giants, they know that they can just continue this again and again. And as long as Jankos didn't get that engaged, speaking of Jankos, he's caught. That looked like it hurt. Nuketek, though, he fancies a piece. It's a Pepinero. I think there might have been a discussion on which one of them wanted that. <laughs> I can imagine so. But what we do know that since Pepinero showed his hand down bottom, Rocket and other ones rushing. Take a look at this. Giants are very far away. There's only two members nearby. Frederick could flash over to try steal. He got it! He steals it! Frederick manages to show up big once more. Baron secured for Giants. Dark Binding goes wide, will it? He's found targets, he manages to stun up Vanda, but Steven Nuketak, they're sitting on the sidelines. Woolite is all the way in the top lane, trying to rejoin the rest of his oh, team. Oh, there we go. The equalizer down, that melts Giants! We see Godfrey going low, but the Black Shield keeps him alive. Chain of Corruption catches no one, but Rocket get themselves two kills at the cost of only Vanda's life. But Frederick stealing Baron, Giants again! From here, the re-engage from Rocket was actually fairly good. Yes, Steve got caught, but it's top lane. There's a catch. Well, the counter-strike from Whirlit managed to catch out three. Mystic shot. It does tag Woolite, oh. and the piercing arrow kills him. Yankos gets caught out by the chain of corruption, and Whirlit is going to stun up Nuke Duck. Nuke Duck goes golden, but goes down to the mighty Duck. The pigeon has no power there. And the only man remaining is Vanda. Giants with four easy kills and an uncontested inhibitor turret set their focus in the middle lane. That could just be game here for Giants. It was a lot slower affair at this point than last week, but Rakat once again are just drawn into fights. I, we didn't see the build-up of why they were in the top lane, but it's cost them dearly. It looks like they want to finish. They've got Baron-empowered minions and two cannon minions to work with. Vanda's going to get focused by everybody as the rest of Giants are on the Nexus turrets. Giants open up the summer split with a 4-1 and one record. And they show that they are the real deal. I guess, you know, being the pair of blondies down bottom <laughs> is working out for Giants. Godfred still undefeated on Morgana.